Hello, welcome to my uh, 3x3 uh, build. I used a 3x3 with triangles for honeycombing. This is the base. Everybody knows this base, right? And you can choose to honeycomb and build the center the way I did it. Or make a shooting gallery like I did over here. I'll show you the shooting gallery on the ground floor. I've always wondered why people don't do this because it makes you have windows on the bottom floor. It's a no-go and rust unless you do this, of course. Look, windows on the ground floor. And they can't get through. Got some nice view. I don't know. They can open it and shoot in. Which maybe is something you don't want. So that's why I prefer like doors. But the thing with doors is you can crawl under them. You have a back exit. So you could honeycomb this and make it like a drop in. So you can drop in from the top and then enter exit from the rear or shoot. But you need room to shoot. Maybe put a sand barricade or what, what's this again? Stone block. I think these are the best though. With the stone. Look at this. Take nice corners. Duck. Yeah, this could work. Plus these have quite some health. So you can crawl under them. And of course, near the front door so you can look at people who are in front of your house. But also, this is where the front door glitches through the wall. So you can close the front front door. Front front saying, because it's of course a double layer door. So you can close this from out there. I don't know, that's why honeycombing doesn't work unless you make this a drop drop in possibility but then how do you get out maybe with a ladder open it up from the top and just drop in put a wall here just to close the door yeah would be work fine now let's um, do the inside from where you walk in so this is the inside right immediately you have this guard post over there and you have this guard post over here this is the open area. You can have a campfire here because it has a lure. I wouldn't put any boxes here because then they can stand on them and shoot over the edge. And the big advantage here is that you're lower than they can shoot. So you can pop your head up anywhere from those shooting positions. This is the actual front door. These are decoy or trap doors you leave open when manning the, the guard post. You got a, a fast entrance to the drop off zone or drop boxes. Got a lot of drop boxes here. Somebody forgets to shut the hatch and someone's in the guard position behind this wall, you can close it behind you. And here you can drop your stuff but there's no way up over here so the way up is here and it's also a way down so this goes to the furnace room but I'll show you that later this is the PvP area behind there uh, so you can drop in here from either the drop off area or the upstairs command center drop in here, get your AK and shoot through the bars that's if the guys in the defense positions don't kill him first you can assist, so that's three guys who can mow down in the kill zone but let's show upstairs 
So this is the place where you enter the guard positions. This is the front door guard position. That's the gu guard position in the back. And this is of course the exit. I just came up. Let me show you the front door. So it's, uh, it's nice and snug. That's of course where you go upstairs. Uh, you can open and close door for people. This is the front door. Remember, this blocks off the front door too. And it may give him the idea that he can run back up there. So he'll go, oh yeah, you think it's blocked? I'll run up here. And you can close it behind him. Uh, in Behind this wall is just a jail cell with a jail door uh, for the drop off but he can't go nowhere so he's stuck up there and you can mow him down going up here peeking around the corner you can also shut this door to lock people in the kill zone let's check out the other guard's position here you can shoot underneath the other guard position to cover each other the kill zone and of course if anybody should be able to go past that gate you can kill them easily from here you can also open and close these doors for people who want to go up with friendlies Okay, so that's the downstairs control area where you control space, the space of your base. This is the furnace area with two nice vaults, a lot of storage for security, keep some high value stuff. But uh, the personal stuff that goes up here, this is where we sleep, we spawn, we put a nice code lock on each of these boxes that I personalized. And of course, box galore, so you, every junk gets stored. Some furnaces maybe for the lighting, but that one really takes the cake. Look at that, man. Too bad it's not dark, but... Mm. Uh, that's where you turn it on and off. And you can cover the stairs coming up. These I just put for show because they're like smoke pipes. And of course we got a little overwatch position on top of it all. Look at that. Chimneys. Awesome man. And they can smoke too. So here we have the fortress-like shooting gallery. I love these stone barricades or stone blocks. Sorry. Of course, here we have the bedroom. So on this floor we have doors in four d directions. You could, of course, make these windows or whatever tickles your fancy. And it's all a 3x3. Three three. Well, I hope you like my build. I had fun building it. I'd love to build. And if anybody wants me to build them a base, and they have the resources, leave a message.